Hello and welcome to this week's vlog update. It's been another pretty epic week, especially in terms of the mixing home stretch. It is, uh, yeah, this final mixing process is taking somewhat longer than I had originally envisioned in all of my noob-tastic naivete. Um, hugely grateful to have Joel um, sort of walking me through the process and um, yeah, just showing me the ropes about um, you know things that need to be considered and um, it's been really really educational <laughs> it's been yeah and great fun as well and um, the session on Sunday last weekend with Joel and Emily over at Black Lodge was super productive we got so much done and um, but I think also by the end we were like leaving a bit cross-eyed from all the uh, like we were there oh I don't even know how many hours, but many, many hours. <laughs> but it was great. And uh, yeah, we got heaps done. Then over the course of this week, I've been reviewing the mixes. And um, yeah, it's, it's almost there pretty much. Um, Joel has just sent through another batch yesterday of updated bounces. And I think the instrumental pieces both are now ready to go. Double flat, which was ready to go last week pretty much. And right here, we had been thinking of adding some sort of space windy stuff, but after Joel has actually just added a bit more reverb and delay in the mix that we already had, we're like, actually, I don't think we need space wind. I think we're good now. Um, so that was, uh, yeah, great brainwave on his part. So that'll, that'll save a bit of work. So right here is done and double flatter done. Um, savoring today is pretty much done as well there's just possibly a tiny bit of tweaking on the swells at the start of the choruses but beyond that i think we're good to get it, go there too we'll know nothing together sounding amazing <laughs> i'm not sure how uh, murderable i was kind of midweek though because um on sunday we had uh, spent a big chunk of time um revising the main rhythm lines for we'll know nothing together and then when Joel sent me the bounces of that I was like you know what I don't like the changes that we spent so long on on Sunday let's just go back to the originals that I had <laughs> so he did that and um yeah we just changed the uh the sound of the kicks so it's not the same sort of um virtual instrument sound that it was previously and I think it sounds a lot better now that we've swapped um, and yeah, still loving that track with the, um, the keys and, um, guitar components from Emily and Nick respectively in there. It's sounding absolutely amazing. Um, yeah. And then that leaves I Reach, which I did some frame drum recording for earlier this week as well. We realized that, um, you know, the, the two different, so I had two different kick drums in the mix and it just wasn't working. They, it was just sounding really weird. And um, so I kind of remembered, oh wait, I do have a couple of little hand drums at home. And Emily and Joel were like, why did you not mention this sooner? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I don't know. That, that would have been a good thing for me to think of, wouldn't it? So I ended up re-recording one of the kick drum parts for I Reach with um, my stretched deer hide frame drum that I made myself actually in a sacred drumming series of workshops a number of years ago. So yeah, that uh, is now in I Reach instead of the other sort of more dancey vibed um, kick that was in there. So that's a good improvement. And now it's just sort of getting the balance right, I think, between the different portions of the arrangement. Um, so I got back to Joel this afternoon with uh, all that feedback and hopefully the end is in sight now. I hope we are going to be on track to having it all done and maybe even mastered and ready to go by the end of the month. Fingers crossed. And yeah, that's where things are at this week. Beyond that, preparing for the student concert um, next month where I will be singing a duet with another of Emily's male students and also Country Livin' by Estero. It's a sort of 90s um, Canadian electronica classic that I have loved for forever. So really excited to be uh, covering that next month. <sighs> 
but I'm feeling a bit frazzled, so I should probably chill out for a little while and uh, I guess see you next week.